in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the honeycomb stitch, which is also known as the smock stitch. This is a beautiful, dense fabric, creates absolutely gorgeous texture. It looks like this from the front, and then if you turn it over, it looks just like the double moss stitch or the double linen stitch. It is absolutely beautiful, brilliant for homeware. I've chosen to use a really chunky yarn, but you could do it in any weight yarn. You're going to need your chosen yarn. As I say, I'm using this chunky yarn. This is Stylecraft in Spearmint. And with this, I am using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. So go ahead and grab what you need and let's get started. So you want to go ahead and start by making your slip knots and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook and we're going to begin by making our foundation chain and this is going to be worked in a odd number. So we're going to yarn over and pull through. That's one, yarn over, pull through. That's two, yarn over, pull through. That's three. Go ahead, pause the video, work the length of chain that you desire. I'm going to do 15 for my sample piece and then meet me back once you're ready. And once you have your chain, you want to count how many chains you have to double check. I have 15 and 15 is going to be the number of stitches that we're going to have throughout or the amount of chains that you have at the moment will be the amount of stitches you have throughout. So we're going to go ahead and just add that additional chain for our turning chain to our foundation chain. This turning chain will not count as a stitch. And we're going to go ahead and work a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So remember, I'm working in UK terms. In the US, this is known as a single crochet. So we're going to ignore the loop that's on the hook. We have our first chain here, and then we're going to work into the second chain. So we'll go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. So as I say, this is your very first stitch and we won't be including that turning chain as a stitch. So now you're simply going to work your way across this foundation chain with one double crochet in each chain or single crochet if you're using US terms. Go ahead, pause the video, work your way across and then meet me back once you're ready. So this is the end of row one. You want to check your stitches to make sure that you have the same as your initial foundation chain before you did that additional chain one. So I have 15 here. We're now going to go ahead and turn the work for row two and begin with a chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to double crochet into the base of that chain one, so that very first stitch and we're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way along. Remember that is US single crochet if you're using US terms. So we're working one double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Go ahead, pause the video, work your way across to that very last stitch. Don't forget to count your stitches and then meet me back once you're ready. So at the end of row two, we have our two rows of double crochet. We're going to go ahead and turn our work for row three and chain one to begin, which will not count as a double crochet. So what we're going to do in this row, and this row is the first of our pattern repeat. So we're actually going to be repeating rows three to six. We're going to start off by doing a double crochet into that very first stitch. And then we're going to do an extended double crochet into the stitch from two rows down. So this is also known as a spike stitch. So this is our current row. We have the top of the row below, and then we this is our second row down, so two rows below. It actually works out for this row to be the foundation chain. So what we're going to do here is we're going to follow that stitch right down to two rows below, insert our hook, and then grab the yarn and pull it through. We want to keep quite loose tension here because we want to pull this stitch up to the height of our row, and then yarn over, pull through both of those loops on the hook, 
and we get this extended double crochet, also known as a spike stitch, into this stitch. We're going to skip the stitch that this is worked over, so that is classing as the next stitch, and then we're going to work into that next stitch with a double crochet. And then we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to do an extended double crochet into that stitch two rows below. So just here, yarn over, pull up to the height of your current row, yarn over, pull through two, and there we have our next stitch. We skip over the stitch that this is laying on top of, and then work a double crochet into that next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way across. So we're going to do an extended double crochet, or extended single crochet if you're in the US, and then double crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and work that all the way across, extended double crochet followed by a double crochet. You will end with a double crochet in your last stitch. Pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. So here we are at the end of our row three, and this is what the work is looking like. It's always a good idea to check the amount of stitches that you have to make sure that you still have the same as what you began with. So let's now move on to row four. We're going to go ahead and turn our work, chain one, which again does not count as a stitch. And we're going to start with a double crochet in the first two stitches. So remember that's a US single crochet. So we'll go into that first stitch with a double crochet and then into the next stitch with a double crochet, which should actually be the stitch just above your extended double crochet just here. We're then going to do something which is called a modified double crochet. We're going to pull together the last leg of the current extended double crochet. So these are the two legs of that stitch. We're just going to be working into this last leg here. And then the first leg of the next extended double crochet. So this one just here. And we're going to be working a double crochet into those two legs. So we're going to go under this, the last leg of this stitch and the first leg of the next stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through both of those legs and then yarn over, pull through to finish off our double crochet. And that just brings those stitches together and that creates this look just here of the honeycomb. So we're going to ignore that stitch that is just behind that double crochet that we just made and then we're going to double crochet into that next stitch. And then we have a pattern repeat all the way across. So we'll do our modified double crochet, which is under the last leg of the current extended double crochet and under the first leg of the next extended double crochet. Yarn over, pull through those legs and then yarn over, pull through those loops on the hook. Skip that stitch behind and then double crochet into the next stitch and you'll work that all the way across. I'll show you that once more. So under that last leg of the current extended double crochet and under the first leg of the next extended double crochet, yarn over, pull through those legs, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook and then double crochet into that next stitch. You'll work that all the way across so modified double crochet followed by a double crochet and you will end with a double crochet. So pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. So here's what your work is looking like at the end of row four. We're going to go ahead and turn our work for row five and begin with a chain one. So the first stitch that we're going to do in this row is an extended double crochet from um, in the stitch two rows down. So this is our current row, this is the row below, and this is the stitch two rows down. So we're going to go into that stitch and then yarn over, pull up to the height of our current row and yarn over, pull through both of those loops on the hook for our first stitch. 
we're going to ignore that stitch that we've just worked over and do a double crochet into that next stitch. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, do an extended double crochet for in the row two rows down, so just here. So we're going to go into the stitch. However, what we want to make sure that we're doing is if we turn the work around, we can see this V. It's actually an upside down V for holding it the right way. But we want to make sure that we're in between those two legs of that stitch and not to either side. So we don't want to be like this or we don't want to be like this. We want to be in between. And then we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Double crochet into that next stitch. And then again, the same, we're going to go into that next stitch. We'll find the stitch two rows down, go into that stitch, make sure we're in between that V at the front of the work, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. So double crochet and then extended double crochet. Always checking on the right side of the work to make sure you're working into the right spot. So go ahead, pause the video, repeat that all the way across and you will finish with an extended double crochet into the last stitch. I'll come back and show you that last one in case you are struggling a little, but go ahead, pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so this is what your work is looking like um, before we finish this last stitch. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the other side as well. We can see these upside down Vs all the way across. And then we have Vs here, but they are much closer together because we haven't um, expanded those as of yet. So what we're going to do here is finish this last extended double crochet into this last stitch, because this one can feel a little bit strange with it being on the very end, but we're going to do exactly the same as what we have done before. I just like to make sure that the, um, the row underneath is just sitting nicely. So now we're going to turn our work and do row six, which is the final row of the pattern repeat. We're going to chain one, which does not count as normal, and then we're going to do a double crochet into that very first stitch. We're then going to do a pattern repeat all the way across. So we're going to do that modified double crochet. So finding this very first leg just here, and then the first leg of the next uh, extended double crochet, yarn over, pull through those two legs, and then yarn over, pull through both of those loops on the hook and then double crochet into that next stitch. And then we're just going to do that all the way across under the last leg of the um, current extended double crochet, first leg of the next extended double crochet, pull through both of those, and then yarn over, pull through two, double crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to work your way all the way across and you will finish with a double crochet into this very last stitch. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way across, and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so here is what your work is looking like at the end of row six. And as of this point, you are repeating rows three to six until you re reach your desired height. And this is what it will look like. It is an absolutely beautiful stitch. I do have the written instructions for this linked in the description box below. So click show more and then you'll see that. I've actually discovered that less than half of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. So if you want to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos, then please click that subscribe button. And if you do like this stitch, then I think you also might like this gorgeous textured stitch just here.